one time he told me they stabbed him 18 to 30 times, and drug him up and down the power lines. He said that they had drug him and gutted him. His exact words was, I'll kill you like I did that. Dramatic testimony from two prosecution witnesses in Spalding County today. They say Frankie Gebhardt admitted he murdered Tommy Coggins back in 1983 because Coggins slept with a white woman who was dating Gebhardt. It was day one of testimony today, and my legal dream team, defense attorney Daryl Cohen and prosecutor Latonia Hines, were here earlier to give some perspective on today's biggest moments. We cannot go back and recover what is gone, but you can atone for the sins of the past. Prosecutors are asking the jury to atone for the sins of the past. Deliver a verdict that is just and that is right. Will that work? Atonement brings in the emotion part of this case. It may work if the evidence is there. Evidence is going to be necessary. They tested that profile against Mr. Gambar. No DNA match for prosecutors. It's not his DNA. Is that game over? It's not game over, but it's definitely a very hard game to play. It's stupid because they did not attempt to match the DNA to anyone other than the two defendants. Let's start with the fact that you're serving a sentence in the state penitentiary. Two star witnesses today for prosecutors. I was 44 years old before I ever touched meth in Okay. One uses meth. And what's that sentence for? Child molestation. All right. The other is a child molester. Will the jury believe them? I don't believe that the jury will believe them unless the jury hates the two defendants. Prosecutors can't choose who their witnesses are, and you've got to just play up the fact that they have nothing to gain from this. There are two black jurors. What does this mean for the trial? It means you have two black jurors. Just because they are black doesn't mean that they're not going to sit there and listen to the evidence and decide whether or not there was truly enough evidence to find this person guilty or not guilty. So I'm now informed by the bailiffs that you were out there watching the live stream video of these proceedings. One of the witnesses was watching a live stream of the trial. Ma'am, I'm gonna order you in the county jail for 20 days. Too harsh? Awfully harsh. No, it's not too harsh. How can you possibly listen to the instructions of the judge and then go outside and watch the trial? Who had a better day today, prosecution or defense? Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say defense. There's not any DNA connecting the defendant with the victim, and so that's bad. The prosecution had a better day because they started off with a bang and they brought out the bad stuff from their witnesses. Definitely the prosecution.